Hi guys, welcome to today. Today is Tuesday and I'm with Sophie. And we're doing homeschool at the sales bar. Math. I'm gonna calculate. I'm gonna calculate when the guy says 35, 44, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, and then you gotta calculate how much that is because I can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go, we're at the sales barn. Uh, we were hoping the uh, chicken guy was gonna be here, and I'm actually sitting where the chicken guy usually sits. It's getting windy out now. It's getting windy. I'm getting dark. But this is what it looks like at the sales barn. People lined up, have their stuff, and now we're going inside. All right, we're in the top. This is the baby cows. This is where we were when we looked at the horses and we still got a ways to go. And look at all these baby cows. Oh, that's a good, that's a nice gray one. Sophie and I like that gray one. It's like white and gray. That's an awesome color. I love it. There's a big bull, look at that. Big bull's coming, oh, that's a cow. It's not a bull. Last week I tried to show Sophie a pig that was a boy and then she didn't know it was a boy. These ones have horns. That's a boy? How can you tell? Now yeah, we're up 35 feet. Are you scared? afraid? Yeah, it's scary. It's scary. It is scary. That's why I don't like being up here. Yeah, all the cows. Sophie, they're calling for you. And just like that, we're out of here because it's too high up. Too high up. All right, now we're in the not so scary part of the barn. Yeah. They got cows, they got sheep. They got hardly anything. Sophie was trying to pet the cows. So the cow. Doesn't like you. What? Are they friendly? Oh, this guy's friendly. Look at this guy. So this guy's friendly. Look at this guy. Uh, maybe not. Look, he comes up to me, but then... He comes up to me, but then runs away when I try and pet him. Look, see? So if he found something... Did you find... Oh! They're so tiny. Tiny. They're goats, right? No. Well, no. Yeah. They are? Yeah. <laughs> They're goats. They don't look like sheep. Well, I think it's a goat. Maybe it is a sheep. I don't know. Could be a sheep. Well, it looks like sheep. It's... It is a sheep. It is a sheep. What? Because these guys look like sheeps. All the goats are in the back. <coughs> Holy jeez, you're a big goat. You're a big Billy. I name you Billy. How about that? Oh no. No. I'm going in. No. Sophie found a baby. How old is that baby? How old is he? Uh, oh my god, he's so cute. Is it a boy? Check. Looks like a boy. Aww. He's a boy. <laughs> Baby boy. <laughs> we don't need him. We have too many. Too many goats already. He's got some big ears. You got some big floppy ears. <laughs> he's quiet too, eh? So we found a new friend. Can't keep you though. Can't keep you. He's so cute though. <laughs> He's so friendly. Alright, anyways, I gotta leave you, buddy. Sorry. No chickens, no ducks, no. Are you sure it's a boy? Yeah, I'm sure it's a boy. Positive. And it's gonna be big like that. Just falling asleep on you. He's cold. 
Spawns leave on you. Wow, you're a big guy. You're big. All right, so we saw a baby donkey. Uh, but I didn't video it because the owner was there and <laughs> the donkey was kind of like trying to jump out of the stall. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> Everybody's chasing us. Ball. Oh, <laughs> <I have a> ball. <laughs> it's because Sophie has a bowl. Okay, let's <laughs> oh, it's a little bit nice out right now, but it's supposed to pour this afternoon. Horses are not there. This hit this this bale of hay is lasting forever. Anyway, Sophie <laughs> has uncovered. Look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at it. It's a beautiful little nest. Every time you take the chicken's eggs from their nest, it upsets them, and then they build a new one somewhere else. Okay. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine. It's a perfect little nest back there, too. Yeah. We'll leave it there. We'll leave the nest there. They're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh man, she saw, she found it. Oh, she hasn't been in the <laughs> They're all mad. <laughs> I don't like when they lay their eggs somewhere else, <laughs> but at least they all got the message. Look at this girl. Oh, you missed her. She was dust bathing. Oh, there she is. Don't they look like they're dying when they're dust bathing? Yeah, they're noisy. <laughs> It's like a little white thing and she's all, <laughs> she looks like she's like having a, a death spasm. That's actually my, save, my favorite Silky because she's so tiny. So I've only got like seven eggs each day the last two days. So my guess is that these are the extras. Time to release the guineas, you guys. <laughs> I can't handle them anymore. She's going off. To <laughs> Do not run to the barn. <sighs> okay. Sam left the door closed. That's my favorite thing. She can't get in. And it causes a lot less problems. <laughs> Rosie's at the hard stage. She's at the stage where... She knows I don't want her to do something, and then she throws a fit. She like gets mad if I make her not do it. She tries to do it anyway, and then if I make her not do it, she throws a little fit. But I love how harmonious our little farm is, mostly Storm and Penny. Actually, Storm and all the girls, he's, they're all kind of afraid of him. But other than that, everybody is so happy together. When you're down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say. This is my favorite thing. Just sitting outside, minding my own business, being surrounded by chickens. Why? Let's go take honey in that field. I want to. She wants out so bad. If you just sit quietly wherever you are, you can sometimes see like the most amazing things. They were just grooming each other. spot that we thought might be really nice for an outdoor arena 
and it's pretty flat. She's so excited. Did you even brush her? Why don't you have a late, big long lunge rope? <laughs> She's so excited to be out. What are your goals for her? Like, what do you want to do with her? Um, probably the same stuff as Willa. So, like, take her to shows and tricks and jumping? Yeah. We want to find a free jumping. I feel like Willow would be better at free jumping. Yeah, but I mean, she... Because Willow will jump like any jump. Yeah, means. and Honey doesn't jump yet at all. No, but Willow anticipates jumping. She yeah, starts. Willow loves it. She like sees the jumps and then she's just over it. I said we would give you an Anya update. So she's almost, I don't know, how old would you say she is? Put her on the table so it's they can see her. October. Yeah, so she was born, we got her in October. She was born in August. So she's, so she's about nine months old. Nine months old, this is what she looks like. Nine months, she looks like a regular cat in the camera. Her eyes she's turned yellow. tiny. Her eyes are she's a now. tiny tiny little cat really cute uh so she's fluffy still but not fluffy like she was which i didn't think she would stay as fluffy but she her fur is easy to manage are we taking her outside is she gonna be no. an outdoor cat no she's not an outdoor cat no she's, she's not an outdoor a cat. cat she sleeps in the night too. yeah she's a sleepy cat who does she sleep Just with now as much as she, sleeps she doesn't in the sleep day, with me anymore does she sleep with you no my door is closed come here Kitty. Anyway, she is friend to everyone. She likes us all. I don't know where she sleeps now. She used to sleep on me. She sleeps. She used to sleep on Gabby. She used to sleep on me in the living room somewhere. She probably wants to stay with the pig. But that's her. Almost nine month old Anya. Does she have a heart on her side? I thought so. Yeah. She's younger. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that heart. If she this is her... not a heart, but it, it looks is. like a heart. When she moves, she it some extends ways. her. Yeah, when she extends her arm, it's a heart. Kitty, stop. Let her go. That's okay. Anyway, that's our Anya. That's Gabby's Anya. Don't even think about it. Get that pig. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, outside. Outside. Come on, get out here.
It's raining. <laughs> there she goes. It is getting late, you guys. It sucks. It pretty much rained all afternoon. Woo! It's cold. It's okay. It's okay. Everybody's okay. Every night when Sophie and I come out to the coop, we count the chickens because they free range now. Get back in here. <laughs> Trouble. Four more eggs. So we got 14 eggs today. Ellie is falling in love with some guineas. <laughs> Anyway, they're looking so cute in there. They're all friends now. We're just waiting for warm weather Out, and no rain to get it done. Like the rain is happening all the time, but it's spring and we need the Ellie, spring get out. rain. Okay, now we gotta find my pig. Ah. Anyway, it's gonna happen. Same with Sophie. Sophie's getting ready to try this horse. I'm gonna tell you, so the horse is a girl. So even though she's stunning and really nice, we're not so sure because I'll tell you why. Somebody does not like the rain. <laughs> she saw, she saw okay, us coming. Quick, I can't do this. She saw us coming to the house. <laughs> she just ran. So uh, this is the thing. Like Sophie and I, Sophie and I really like this horse. We haven't tried her yet, but we're gonna try her this week. And we both really like her. But this is the weird thing about my life is that whenever I see something, I dream it or I see it and I know that it's what's gonna happen, then anything else that happens that doesn't match that dream, I always like right away think, oh gosh, that's not the one. So like the horse that I saw in Sophie's stall, in the stall in our barn, was like a shorter, bigger bay. And it was a boy and I'm, I don't know for sure that it was a boy. It doesn't match my dream. It doesn't match it. It doesn't match what I saw. So it makes me feel like she's not the right one, but I'm praying that she's the right one because we are ready to have another horse. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 